Hey guys, welcome to video 13 of Get to Know Your Body's Aches and Pains. And today's topic is for all the texters, the video game players, uh, piano players, people who hammer, any person who has repetitive strain injury to a tendon in the thumb. So basically doing this motion here. It is called decreverence tenosynovitis or tendonitis. Decreverence tenosynovitis is more of the inflammation of the sheath around the tendon. The tendonitis is the inflammation of the tendon. So basically what happens here is that when you do a repetitive movement. So this has actually been uh, researched highly that a lot of people have been reporting having injuries to their thumb of having this condition. And it's mainly due to gamers and texters. That's why it's actually called texter's thumb. So basically how you know how you have this, there's a special test that you can do right now with me or after this video, it's called Finkelstein. So basically you take your thumb, you tuck it in your hand, and then you stretch it down. If you have pain along this area here, that's a positive sign for having decreverence tenosynovitis or uh, tendonitis. So basically I was like looking online on, on researching on how I can actually help you guys with this information because now that you have this information, what do you do? So basically you can rest it, even though it's really hard to uh, not rest your thumb, but you know, icing, stabilizing it, not using it for a few days, those are things that you can do to help it. There's also massage therapy uh, that, that helps it that is not commonly discussed. Also a TENS machine um, that could also help with that. Now that was coming from an article that I found that I'm gonna share after this video that I thought was actually helpful. Whereas when I was going online and looking, uh, researching things about this topic on how to treat, the only thing that was commonly brought up all the time was go see a doctor, the doctor's gonna write a prescription for an anti-inflammatory or give you a corticosteroid injection in the area that decreases inflammation or worst case scenario surgery. So, let me tell you this, for corticosteroids from what I learned in school, you don't want to do that because basically what, uh, when your body's going through an inflammatory process, it's protecting the area and immobilizing that area so that way your body can do what it naturally does to heal it, to correctively do, like to heal that area on its own. Um, the corticosteroid, what it does is it decreases the, the inflammation that's supposed to be there. So it's basically not allowing the healing process to happen. Basically, the healing process is incomplete, causing more damage. So corticosteroids, if you're offered that by a doctor, don't do it. Or look into it and see the risks to it. Anti-inflammatories, also something, look into that before you take that pill. Because basically, doctors are taught to write prescriptions. They don't know any better. They're just taught that here's a condition, this is what we're going to do. We're going to write a prescription for you and here, take that. But what you don't know, this is your body, you need to take care of your own body, is that you need to be knowledgeable of the other options that are available to heal things naturally. And I'm about to give that to you, the other option, to make you aware that, you know, don't trust everything that pharmaceuticals and doctors are saying to you. Question it, because it's your body. Now I'm going to tell you, there are other options in regards to massage therapy, physiotherapy, um, in regards to this condition, because it is very common. We all are in this high technology world where we're all using our thumbs for texting, video games, whatever. So I'm going to tell you some, like a few tips of what you can do that I came across in the article. And please read the article because it actually gives more in-depth stuff. Rest it. You could put a splint around this area to demobilize it. When you're typing, use your other fingers. At least rest it for about three days until the inflammation is gone and ice it for the pain. What these tendons are attached to are muscles in the arm. So basically there's treatments that are involved that massage therapists do where we're actually treating any kind of compression or tightness in the muscles here that are attached to that. So you're gonna be treating muscles in here that's attached to the, the muscles that go to the thumb and across in your forearms. So I don't really want to get into a self-treatment on this one. Right now, I just want you guys to kind of learn and be um, aware of what decreverence tenosynovitis or tendonitis is and look into it and by all means ask me questions about it. Um, that's all the information I'm going to put out there for now. I just want you to do the research and just get back to me on this. Until next time.